Casey, you all haven't beaten a team by 30 since November. How good does it feel just to beat a team like that in conference play this close to the end of the season? Uh, I feel like that means that we're finishing games how we want to. Um, getting a big lead and keeping it like that is something that we've struggled with earlier in the year. But now that we know that we can do it, we're going to keep or try to keep doing that. What do you think the difference was? Why were you able to finish this one? Uh, that's all we were talking about. Like, don't let up. Like, you got to keep playing throughout the whole game. When you're trying to finish a game or keep a lead like you did today, something you said you guys have struggled with all season, what as the point guard is your role in maybe getting the team going or not having those scoring droughts, setting the pace? Like, what are you doing to help keep that leader avoid those scoring droughts? Uh, just making sure that our team is in the right spots and calling plays. Like, we know that we want to push it up the court and then we're going to one or two plays. So making sure that I'm running the offense and keeping everything smooth. CJ made a comeback today. He only played six or seven minutes, but what kind of burden did that let off you, giving you some more breathing time? Uh, he didn't sub in for me, but oh, I mean, sorry. coming in the game, and you know, it's good to see him back on the court and you know, getting back into it. What was the difference at the end of the first half, beginning of the second half, where you guys really extended that lead out? Uh, I think it was our defense that really did the job for us, um, locking down on defense, and it was leading the transition point. So. You know, we're scoring a lot in transition this game. You stepped up today and hit some big shots, some threes, top of the key, off the What's it mean for the offense, not just when you're facilitating offense, but you're also hitting shots? Um, if it comes back to me, I'm a scorer. So, you know, it's part of the play if I get it. And I'm trying to score or create for others. Jason Kell mentioned that you have to have fun when you're playing this sport. How much more fun are you guys having now? It's the, say maybe three or four weeks ago. I say we're having a lot more fun due to the fact that we're winning now. You know, when you're losing, it's hard to stay together and stay focused. But when you're winning, I feel like it's easier to enjoy your teammates and enjoy the success. It seems like there a, a lot of offensive weapons now. You know, one night it's you, one night it's Chris, one night it's it's uh, Jacob. You know, how important does that play into how you finish strong this year? Uh, it's big, you know. I feel like one game, all of us going to click together. And that will be some unstoppable stuff. Right there. What would that look like, you think? Uh, a lot of points on the board. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, first game in a while, we got to see Walker, Grant, Brennan. How fun was it for you guys to see those guys get a little playing time? Kareem as well. Uh, it was fun. You know, we didn't want to sit down the whole time. Ref telling us to sit down. Y'all can't stay up. But we stayed up anyway, just congratulating them and being there for them. Jacob keeps getting these double doubles. What what do you think is click with him and getting on the glass like he has lately? Uh, he's becoming the player that we always knew he was. Um, crashing every time, you know, getting those easy putbacks for us. That's something that we've been stressing about, like easy points, rebounds, and he's been getting them for us. How much has the game slowed down for you? Uh, it slowed down a little bit, but we're trying to play faster. You know, um, we're trying to fly up the court and. You know, make it scramble up, scramble it up for them. But offensively and defensively, I feel like it's slowing down because you know we're playing more together as a team. Jason, Oscar's defense has been a big talking point throughout the season. Just how have you seen him grow as a defender over the course of the year? Um, he's been making big strides. You know, one thing we've been talking about is having active hands in the pick and rolls, and he got a few steals tonight doing that. So that shows you how you know locked in he is. But it, being a guard is that stealing part of playing defense. Is that something you can help him out with since you know, you're obviously doing that a little bit more than he is normally? Uh, definitely. It takes two to you know, have, be good in the pick and roll. So the guard has to stay connected, have active hands. The big has to be up, stopping the ball, having active hands. What's the transition like in, in terms of you know, adapting, really learning everything that he wants on defense and, and embracing that philosophy? Um, it's a little challenge because, you know, it's not something that we did in high school, but we're not considered freshmen anymore. We've been through the game, you know, had a, have a few games under our belt, so it just, you got to keep learning. Okay, so how, how much were you just sort of physically worn down from the, the minutes load and, and having to play so much on the game? You had a knee, you had a back, you had a bunch of different things. Did you, did you feel like you were kind of gutting it out for a few games? Uh, if I need to be out there, I'm gonna be out there. <laughs> um, like I said the other day, like my body hurt during the game. I'm not really gonna feel it because adrenaline going, but 
I'll deal with the consequences tomorrow <laughs> when we have off day. When you start two of seven today, given the way you've kind of been shooting, how did you turn the corner there? Start, how, did, how did you get him to start going in, do you know? Uh, I just kept shooting it. <laughs> Shoot it the same way every time. We got to go in, you know, eventually. So I feel like I didn't lose confidence in my shot. I just kept shooting it. That big drive and dunk is kind of for you kind of broke open. Was it one of those things where, like, okay, if the shot's not going to drive, I'm just going to take the 100% <laughs> shot uh, and take it and dunk it at the rim? I'm just taking what they give me. They give me open shots. I'm going to take them. Uh, coming off the pick and roll, they want to be back. I'm going to shoot the mid-range. Uh, transition. Um, they went to the corners, took the, those lanes away, had a wide open lane to the rim. How much more do you trust each other as a team on both ends of the floor now, as opposed to maybe even a month or two ago? Uh, I feel like we trust each other a lot more because one, we're practicing or doing drills in practice where you know one goes to block the shot and one goes to get the big that's jumping. So I feel like that's building trust in each other and ourselves. Like we don't have to worry about if I go, is somebody gonna have my back or not.